I have here a Kaleidoscape Strato C movie player. Let's open it up, take a look, go hands on and give an overview of what this device is all about and how it fits into the broader Kaleidoscape ecosystem. So I've been a Kaleidoscape user for several years now. I bought a original version Strato S 6 terabyte. Along the way, I upgraded to a Strato C player and a bigger Terra server. I kind of downgraded, side graded myself to a Strato S, the smaller 1U uh, standalone 6 terabyte player. And now I'm kind of re-upgrading after having been in and out of the platform in different types of form factors and devices and learning some of the ins and outs firsthand. And so I'm, I'm re-establishing my Kaleidoscape system with the standalone player server structure using the Strato C and a newer version of the Compact Terra. So I'm gonna do independent videos for these. We'll do the Strato C here. I'll have a separate unboxing, hands-on overview of the Compact Terra 12 terabyte that I purchased. And I also got it as kind of like a bundle promo deal. So I have the rack mount kit. We'll take a look at that in a third video through the hands-on series and then of course a whole lot more content coming to the channel all about Kaleidoscape, using it, what it's all about, programming it, the ins and outs, the pros and cons. First off, Strato C, standalone player, no storage, doesn't work, doesn't really do anything on its own. If you want to use a Strato C, which is uh, actually now the only real way to buy into the Kaleidoscape platform because the individual S player storage combo units have now been discontinued. I'll go into detail on some thoughts on that in a future video as well. But in any case, the Strato C, this is, this is the only player that Kaleidoscape offers at the moment. And it, but of course, it can be paired now with their wider line of Terra servers, from the big multi-drive units to the individual drive compact units, again, which I have here. So let's open it up and take a look. I already cut the box. We have the player itself. We have a relatively small box of accessories. We have a Pixel Gen 4K HDMI cable, one and a half meter length. This is an 18 gigabyte uh, HDMI, not HDMI 2.1. The Kaleidoscape players are not HDMI 2.1. We have a fairly simple 12 volt, five amp uh, power brick. Adapter plugs into the unit with the little uh, two and a half, I think, millimeter or connector there. And then, of course, a power cord to plug the power brick into the wall. Now, one of the things that I'm interested, I think, to maybe give a try, and there's been some discussion about this in the Kaleidoscape Owners Forum, which if you're in the platform as an owner or you're considering maybe joining into the Kaleidoscape platform, I highly, highly recommend check out Kscape Owners. Uh, great discussion. There's a whole bunch of folks in there. Dealers, uh, users, very high level enthusiast users, and Kaleidoscape regularly engages there as well, both on business ish, uh, business items and technical items and so on. But in any case, one of the discussions on the boards lately um, that I actually started was about uh, electrical noise. And I've had some electrical noise concerns in my rack and in my system. I don't think that they were being caused by the Kaleidoscape but the Kaleidoscape Strato S was part of what, what I was hearing and it was being affected by the noise. And so there's been uh, other folks mentioned similar things and one of the ideas was to replace the external power brick with a like toroidal transformer linear power supply. I know a lot of folks did that or used to do that with their OPPO players, the 203s and the 205s. They'd spend a few hundred dollars to buy a linear power supply and apparently you can do that externally as well because of the way this guy plugs in. So for a few hundred bucks, um, getting a, a toroidal based uh, power transformer power supply is kind of interesting. Will that have any effect on the audible quality or the video quality of the player itself? Stay tuned, maybe I'll buy one and we'll find out. But I do have that in mind as something I wanna try. Uh, additionally, we have an ethernet cable. So a little bit of documentation, just some initial connectivity instructions a pixel gen a flyer and some compliance information. Now, most of the time when you get a Kaleidoscape, it's gonna be dealer or perhaps dealers, certainly dealer sold 
dealer supported, uh, potentially even dealer installed. I of course will be doing my own uh, setup and configuration. I've done it uh, a couple of times before on different players, different flight escape players. There's really not a whole lot, uh, particularly if you know your way around your gear in a rack, to actually hooking these guys up and getting set up and activated and, and such. Let's actually do it like this. We'll put the player right on top. So uh, nice packaging here, some foam protection, fabric bag, and inside we have our Strato C player. Nice brushed aluminum Kaleidoscape logo on the front that does light up for power states and such. You can see it's a, this is a 1U unit, not very deep, uh, maybe a foot or so there. And then we have our back panel. On our back panel we have our 12 volt DC power brick connector. Two HDMIs, uh, one for video and audio, one for audio only. If you want to send the output of the Kaleidoscape player directly to a display and send the audio to a receiver or preamp and so on. There's also coax and optical audio outputs. If you were to use those, I don't really know why you would. If you're buying a player like this, you're probably really interested in ease of access to very high quality content for your dedicated audio video entertainment space or, or more than likely a dedicated theater room. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be wanting lossless audio Atmos and all of that sort of thing and of course you can't really get that here through those other connectors You're going to be using HDMI. Uh, we have a USB port, which I've never used on a Kaleidoscape system uh, Effectively a service port. We have wired Ethernet, which is the way I would have I'll be using this of uh, course wired I would strongly strongly recommend if you're networking around your house with these types of players and servers and so on You're going to want to be wired. I think technically for these players you have to be wired anyway um, I believe the Strato S's were Wi-Fi, but I don't believe the Strato C is actually Wi-Fi. We have a separate service port, and then an IR uh, input, and a recessed reset button. The front, nondescript, there's a, a power button here, that's it. And again, the logo lights up based on the, the power state and the on status and such of the unit. So, nice, solid, hefty, it's, it's built. Built like a tank, built like Kaleidoscape equipment is known. A couple of like sticky tack, tacky-ish uh, rubber feet on the bottom. They're not removable, so it'll stay nice and nice and locked into position in your rack. Again, I did get the one uh, U uh, rack adapter, which will hold this and the Compact Terra side by side. That's interesting. It came as a combo. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it or not since I have my shelves. But I'm interested to check it out nonetheless, and we'll see. We'll see if I if I pull the shelf and rack mount this versus setting the player and the Terra side by side just on the same shelf. I think either way, we'll get the job done. So why would you buy a Kaleidoscape? Well, Kaleidoscape offers at least disc quality, generally speaking, if not generally better than disc quality. Movies delivered to you digitally, so you need. Pretty good. You're going to want to be using a pretty fast um, internet connection, particularly with a Terra, to be able to download faster. Uh, uh, most of the Terra, all of the Terras will download a movie depending on your internet connection. I've got 500 gig, or I've got 500 megabit per second internet here, and I would expect to be downloading a movie, a 4K movie, to a Terra server, and playable um, on the system post download within about 15 minutes, ideally. But Kaleidoscape delivers high bit rate video. Uh, again, akin to disk, or in some cases higher than disk, because the downloads are not artificially constrained to the size of a, of a physical uh, Blu-ray disk. A lot of movies get pushed onto a BD66. That's a 66 gigabyte disk. Not everybody, not all the studios, not on every release do they use the BD100s. And so, uh, again, Kaleidoscape isn't constrained to a, a physical form factor. It's a digital download. They can set the the encoding of the movie, the size of the movie, and such to be what they consider to be appropriate for that specific piece of content. And if that's slightly over 66, or if it's even over 100, as some movies in the store are, they can do that. So you can buy your movies, uh, of course, digitally in the Kaleidoscape store itself, and then download as you see fit once you own them. And again, I'll be covering a whole bunch of ins and outs of the Kaleidoscape platform in independent videos. 
just wanted to basically cover the devices here one by one. And if you do have questions about Kaleidoscape, what are some things that you want to know about the platform and such, feel free to ask in the comments. Maybe I should have said this up front too, but um, this, this content is not uh, sponsored by Kaleidoscape. I did purchase this device as I purchased my prior equipment as well. Strato player, um, if you only have one zone, buy one Strato. The nice thing about the way that the platform is set up is if you do want to do multi-zone, you can have a single Terra server and you can purchase multiples of these and, and serve independent locations with them. I'll be using this in my Zone 2 setup, so technically I'll be able to access my Kaleidoscape content both in my living room and in my theater because I'm feeding everything through my Anthem AVM70 and using the main zone and the Zone 2 switching and Zone 2 outputs. If you're interested to see more about that, check out the couple videos from a little while back on the channel about Zone 2 operation. I break that all down and how I'm doing it in the setup right now. So that's a quick unboxing and overview of, of the Kaleidoscape Strato C movie player. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions and such, please leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Look down in the description for some ways to support the channel. And look for a whole lot more Kaleidoscape stuff coming soon.